What's up everyone? So in this video we are going to discuss how to enable ECG and BP on your Galaxy Watch 4. So before starting I want to mention that as of now this method is working with a Samsung Galaxy phone. But you can try with the non Samsung phone as well and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. First of all you need to download few files and the link is down in the description. You can check it out and thanks to Dante from XDA for the files. The first file is the modded Samsung Help Monitor application without country blocking issue. Next two files are for the watch and about them we will talk a bit later. So you have to install this APK on your phone. Make sure you uninstall any old Samsung Health Monitor application from your phone as well before installing this new one. Also this SHM app will only work with new Galaxy Watch 4. So don't try to use it with Galaxy Watch 3 or Watch Active 2. Moving on to the other two files. The first one is a minimal ADB fast boot. You have to unzip it and install the program on your computer. And the second file is the SHM mod APK that you have to install on your watch. Once again this is an APK file not for your phone but it has to be installed on your watch. Now we have to make some changes on our watch. For this go to settings. Now scroll down. And tap on about watch. Here select software and tap multiple times on software version. Now developer mode is turned on. Next you have to go to connections and turn off bluetooth. Now turn on Wi-Fi and connect with the same Wi-Fi network to which your PC is connected. Make sure if you are connected to 5 GHz network on your PC it should be 5 GHz on your watch as well. Now go back and tap on developer options. Here you will see ADB debugging. Just enable it. And toggle on debug over Wi-Fi as well. Then go back and again tap on developer options. Now you will see an IP address written with debug over Wi-Fi. Just note it down. Coming on to the PC, during the installation of fastboot, Make sure you tick this option which says create a desktop shortcut. Now finish the installation and go to your desktop. Here you can see minimal ADB and fastboot. Right click on it and select open file location. Now in this folder you have to copy your downloaded watch for modded SHM APK. Just copy that file and paste it here in this folder. Now open ADB. Just type these commands. The first one is ADB space killer dash server. By the way these commands are also in the description you can just copy paste them as well. Now the second command is ADB space start dash server. These two commands are just to remain on the safe side so that we can have a successful installation. After the second command, you can see Dimos started successfully. Next you have to connect your PC to your watch with the help of the CMD. And to do this, just type ADB connect and then type in the IP address that you have noted down before on your watch. You will see a prompt message on your watch. Just tap on allow connection from this computer. For the next step, we are going to install modded SHM APK on Galaxy Watch 4. And if you already have this SHM app which is officially from Samsung but not modded one, you can uninstall it by following command. I am pasting it down in the description you can check it out. But here I am simply installing this mod SHM APK on Watch 4 alongside with official SHM APK. And for this installation I am using this command which is adb-s your IP address that you have noted down before on your watch. And now type in the file name that you are going to install here. I am just copying the SHM file name and pasting it here. Now you will see the result which is performing streamed install and success. For the last step you have to disconnect from ADB and for that use ADB space disconnect. Then hit enter. Now again we have to make some changes on our watch. Go to settings, scroll down and tap on developer options. Now turn off debug over Wi-Fi and ADB debugging. Just toggle it off as well. 
because not turning them off will drain battery of our watch. Now you can go back and tap on connections. Turn off the Wi-Fi and turn on Bluetooth. In the menu of your watch, you will see two applications. One is official Samsung SHM app and the second one is modded one. The modded one will have Wear OS icon so we can differentiate it with the official one. Simply drag the official SHM app to the bottom as you are not going to use this one. Open up the modded SHM app on watch and now open Samsung health monitor on your phone as well. Now you can finally use ECG and blood pressure on your Galaxy Watch 4. Just follow on screen instructions and calibrate the Galaxy Watch 4 with a real cuff based BP apparatus. If you have any questions just drop them below and don't forget to subscribe as it really helps me a lot. With that being said I'll catch you guys in the next one until then bye bye.